Hey gang, I have a bit of some disturbing news for all of you. Um, if you are spending any money on paid marketing like uh, direct mail marketing or cold calling, anything that is based on a list, you are literally being scammed. And I know this is a harsh claim, but hear me out. Before I explain this, you need to know a few things. Okay, so first, you need to know that we are quite good at generating motivated seller leads. I rank number one, and we get anywhere between four to 12 leads every single day. Pages leads are free, they're highly motivated, they're organic. And if you noticed me really stressing the word motivated, that is the point, okay? So they're motivated, meaning they actually want to sell their house, okay? So this month alone, we have generated between 100 and 200 leads motivated organic leads from a website from these leads none of them were going through a foreclosure none of them were dealing with bad tenants none of them were dealing with a divorce there was one of them that had a job loss and there were two of them that were absentee owners there were no liens there were no no issues really 98 percent of my leads were simply people that wanted to sell their house without listing with an agent. They were willing to accept a lower offer for the sake of convenience. They didn't want to repair, they didn't want to fix, they didn't want to wait, they wanted, they wanted a guaranteed sale. They had no issues. Do you realize what this means? This means that if you are sending mailers to foreclosures and tax sales and whatnot, they're the wrong audience. From my data, from your data, those are not the people that are, that are going to fill in the form. These are not the people that want to sell their house. And the reason why I say your data is because I have proof. You have proof. Look at your own numbers. How many mailers do you need to send before you make a deal? And keep in mind, I said a deal. I didn't say a lead. I said deal. How many phone calls, how many cold calls do you need to make? before you snag a deal? A thousand, two thousand, three thousand? Do you not agree that if you were sending, if you were targeting the right audience, you wouldn't have to go through a thousand people before you finally make a deal? Let me give you a point of reference. Let me, let me make a comparison here. If I had 1,000 people standing in front of me and they were starving, they were hungry, and I told them, who of you wants a sandwich? I am willing to bet that every single one of them would say, I do, I want a sandwich. 100% success rate. The reason for that is because you're targeting the right audience with the right message. If you need to really send a thousand people a call or a, or a letter for you to make a deal, it's, it's not quite obvious that you're sending it to the wrong audience. It, it is evident, right? Then the question then becomes, well, if foreclosures and, and, and absentee owners and tax liens and, they vo and people are getting divorced they are the wrong audience, how do you target the right audience? Guess what? There is no way to target the right audience. There is no criteria, there is no filter to isolate people that just want to sell their house without an agent from the public. There is no criteria to do that. It's not possible. The only way to forget to to target the right audience <laughs> forget <laughs> the only way to target the right audience is by having a number one ranking website they just need to find you there is no way to target people that just want to sell without an agent there, there is no criteria for that do you realize why I say you've been scammed how many gurus, how many influencers, how many YouTube personalities will tell you this list is the best list? No, this is the best list. The absentee owner is the best list. The garage sale is the best list. I heard somebody say, go stalk your elderly home, make friends with them so that they can sell you their house before they die. I heard somebody say that stuff. Are you kidding me? The sooner you realize this, the sooner you acknowledge this fact, the sooner you can do something about it. So do something about it.